Hi, Dr. Janet Hall here with Relationships Made Easy and Sensational. Now here's something that uh, is not that sensational sometimes because it really backfires and, and the question is, should you have a one night stand? Now one of my clients recently had the scare of her life when her husband of 22 years admitted to a 10 month affair with a colleague. He said that in their relationship uh, he was fed up with always being the one who initiated the sex and he decided to seek out somebody else who would equally initiate sex. Well, the wife was just absolutely emotionally shattered. She had to admit that when she was young, her parents had taught her that good girls never actually ask for sex because if they did, no one would want them or love them. Now, that's really, really old hat now, what with booty calls and casual sex sites and pick-up in pick-ups in bars. Modern single girls take their lead from women's magazines that encourage them to seek sex for pleasure. And this creates both good and bad news for guys. The good news is that it's a fabulous opportunity for what I call predator men who have sexual confidence, the con artists. The bad news is that it's scary for the guys who aren't good at the charming and don't really believe that they're a good lover in bed. The bad news for girls is that they're actually programmed to want to have a relationship with the man that they have sex with. And no matter how comfortable they might be on a a logical, rational level as in, you know, I'm a grown-up, I'm mature, I'm of age, I can decide if I want to sleep with somebody. Their right brain, their emotional side, is very much likely to make them wake up feeling unhappy the next morning. So how do the girls get the freedom to have a good one-night stand without the unhappiness? Here's two suggestions. One girl called Mandy recommended that you kick the guy out and make him go home before you go to sleep. That way you can wake up safely in your own bed the next morning without a bad taste feeling. If it was really bad you can pretend it was all a dream and that way when he's not there you won't have to put up with him spluttering and breaking wind in your toilet when all you want to do is get more shut eye. And another girl called Trish recommends that you only choose guys to sleep with who you never want to see again. That way you won't spend all day wishing that he would call and asking him was it special for him to and, and wanting him to want to see you as much as you do. So what can I, the expert, say about one night stands? As a sex therapist, I would urge you to be absolutely adamant that if you've just met somebody and you have sex with them, you use a condom. And really, don't kid yourself that you're going to have a loving encounter or there'll be anything warm and cuddly when you're finished. Since you probably don't even share the same values or backgrounds you'll probably be very unsuited as long-term lovers. It's not going to continue on. And if you are a woman, certainly it's okay to ask for what you want in bed. It's unlikely that he's going to care about what you're needing. Um, so you need to guide him. And, and if you are a man, don't give her your phone number unless you really do want to see her again. If you know you have no intention of contacting her again, don't give her false hope. And for everybody, do practice safe sex and follow, follow Mandy's example. Make sure they go straight home after the deed is done. Some folk who intended just to have a one night stand actually end up, ended up getting stuck with somebody who squatted and wouldn't leave. So serious considerations that really should make you think twice about a one night stand.